Simon and Catherine have tricked the Brandon simulation into sharing the security cipher needed to access the Dunbud. Now, they can finally use it to travel into the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. Yeah, that's gonna happen. That thing that's behind the glass and we clearly can't access by just walking up to it from here. Nothing's gonna happen between here and there, why would it? This is of course the type of game where everything always goes well. Exactly as you would expect it to. Is there anything left to do on this thing? Status... Doesn't matter so much. Alright, so we gotta go that way probably. Omni tool in hand. That's when you're that's when you're truly alone when you're not gonna hear any Catherine for a while. Alright, room. Uh, <laughs> we know something's gonna happen in this room. There's probably more than one of those guys that you that you do the motion stuff for. Like the sounds. I assume that's gonna come up again. The fact that the fucking sliding door is clearly kind of open. Not the least bit promising to me. Alright, try to make our way over here. We want to slide over here, right? What's gonna open? Oh, I trust nothing right now. Access granted, that never works. Hey, door. How we doing? Do we want to close that door behind us? No? Uh, I'm so not trusting in the fact that things slightly- Why is that thing slightly open? That was that was closed when we got in here. I'm pretty like 100% sure of that one. Hello. Let's keep you where I can find you, actually. Might need to throw you later. Alright. You. Button. Huh? Knob? N doesn't move. Button up there. Not that button. Nothing on this thing works. Alright. Well. Next on my list. Going to this nice dark corner. Where I'm far away from the only door. In and out. Cool. That's where I want to go. How do you work, buddy? No, nothing interactive over here? Am I supposed to believe that this is going to work? Just walk right up to it. No big deal. Sweet. Warning, watch out for moving doors. Restricted area. Oh, maybe up here. Oh yeah, there's a red thing. There's a red thing that indicates that something can be touched. An air vent? It's so far away. Oh, I can move this. You can move the whole... That's interesting. Move, you. There we go. That is not an object you would usually expect to be something you can move in this kind of game. Ooh, doesn't work. Alright, if it doesn't work in the vent, can I drag it this way or to get stuck on the ceiling? Oops, I'm getting stuck apparently. Come on. Oh, is it getting stuck? It's getting stuck. Is a cable? Oh. Hello. It's a goddamn Christmas miracle. Alright. Oh, okay, the door's closing. That's better than it opening. I don't like this. You know what? Let's just preemptively make sure this is back where I think it probably should be. There we go. That vent seems like it's probably gonna play a role. At some point. Let's just line that shit up. Oh, I was standing on it. I was like, why well, I wanna move? Yeah, it's a little awkward to move this, uh, an object shaped this way. <laughs> Something that you can literally walk on at a, at a moment's notice. Which makes it so you can't move it anymore. Alright. I feel like the vent's gonna be what I actually end up doing. I don't trust this at all. Yeah, cool. Mystical machine that's just gonna solve all my problems. That's what this game does to me. Alright, cool. Green button? No. These things. Alright. That's pleasant for the moment. Sweet, we're running tests, all systems are okay. Preparing release. 
Cool. Release in progress. Yes. Sweet. All according to my plan. To kill Simon. Uh, someone's gonna be in here now, aren't they? Alright, so we lost the Dunbat. Someone's AI was inside it, apparently. I'm hearing bad sounds. Let's just get to the ladder. Fuck this whole room. I don't like any of the sounds I just heard. Don't screw me on this fence. Okay. Uh, just keep moving forward and it'll end sooner. There's definitely an AI. A, or a person, in, a, a clone inhabiting that. Oh, where am I dropping to? This is such bad news. Alright, lights off probably. It's probably somewhere I don't want to be. It's probably the back, those back channels where we already confirmed a monster was. That was not the basement. So we have more monsters. Sweet. Huh? Well, they put a save point there. So I guess nothing can be super dangerous, because I couldn't move for a moment. So I can't open that, I'm, I'm sure. Nope. Alright, only one way to go. There's some security in that, right? Knowing you can only go one way? Kind of alternating between crouching and standing right now. Plan B. You bet your ass. That is the applicable thing to call it. Really, we're doing that again. Alright. Really has to stop really frequently to do that. Oh, fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. Let's just keep moving forward. Nothing can happen to me in an event, right? Like, how would I escape it? I, s I think I'm actually just safe in this situation, and they're just gonna make spooky noises. As they like to do. Is that a s oh, it's a, ve it's a ventilation fan. Alright, nothing there. Fuck those noises. Hopefully they're just like the guys that are attracted by noise, because I can- I've learned to manage to deal with those. I like the guys that are attracted to noise more than the guys that, uh, the bi Well, either of the other enemies, enemies, actually. One of them makes really unfortunate noises, and the other one's just so slow and patrolly. Uh, slow reveal. Where are we? That's somewhere new. There's a... Like a doctor's office room? Surgery table, I think? Seems legit. I'm sure things end for me, end well for me here. Well, for the moment I'm above everything, so nothing could get me, probably. So there's a... There's a healing spot. Computer terminal. Entrance door that has a red icon, meaning it's locked. Probably have to use the terminal to unlock any way to get out of here. Alright, I'm down here. No, no po point of no return. Can't go back there. Can use that to heal if a monster catches me. Let's just stand up. Oh. Oh, it looks like a... It looks so much like an operator's ta table. It even has that thing that holds someone down on their chest or whatever. You stabilize them, but... These are all tools, so it's, work it's for working on robots of some kind. Hello. Oh, it's... Is it just a place for working on... That looks like the head unit that that uh they store brain like people's AIs in when they clone them, or when they copy them. That's what it looks like at least. Maybe it's just for maybe it's just for engineering purposes. Computer. You gotta close it, you're gonna get dust inside the chassis or whatever. Can I plug this in? Sweet. Not entirely sure what the purpose of that was. Alright, let's just plug her in and let her do her thing. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. 
How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Oh! You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? I felt like she was going to get us in trouble. But we seem to be on our own for the moment. Hey, computer. That I plugged in earlier. How you doing? Oh, hello. Approximately 43.75%. 896 terabytes of memory corrupted. Simulation re reconfiguration necessary. Uh, that's a lot of dead stuff. Package. Uh, system physics rigid. System physics soft. Fluid. Buoy. Bu <laughs> I can't say it. Buoy. 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 Buoyancy? Boy. Bu it's confusing because it's a buoy, but also buoyancy, which is completely different pronunciations. But you know, it spells a word, but it's actually a pronounce it's actually an abbreviation for buoyancy, I'm sure. Atmosphere, scan, vegetation. Bam, that works. Bam! Clicking on all things. This oh. Memory corruption detected, please reduce memory footprint. Alright, so th that's everything. What do I want to get rid of? Uh Vegetation. W mod din din light chair cabin a different type uh clouds scared of clouds maybe a bench I don't need a bench or a dirt road soma hum what does that mean boat I don't need a boat uh how many things can you read? Erase here. This is weird. All right. Uh, sun, moon. Oh, we need, let's go to the moon, I guess. Uh, what's the soma hum do? We don't need a hum, do we? Sim base requires type soma. Okay, so we can't get rid of that. Interface. Scan. Nope, needed. Get rid of basic vegetation. So a lot of these things are very required. River. Lake. Foliage. A lake. No more foliage. No more... S nope, we need the sun. Oh, forest requires vegetation advanced. Is forest one of the other things here? Oh, forest is the one we have loaded and we can't unload it. Sim base. Oh, so leg requires physics rigid. So if I get rid of lake, I can get rid of physics rigid. Oh, so it requires water. All right, heat requires for noon. But package human someone needs light source. Interface scan requires human someone requires that. So humans need that. Lake requires physics body. What if I replace it with a river? Also needs physics buoyancy. Physics fluid? Alright. Soft physics. Okay, we got rid of soft physics. Making progress. Rigid physics is required for a river. Probably we need river because we need water. There's no other water options besides lake, which requires more types of units. Atmosphere. Human requires atmosphere. Oh. Fluid. Oh, river requires fluids, so we can't get rid of that. It's just very promising the way it popped up like that. Ah. Uh, noon requires heat. Is noon required? Human requires noon, so we can't get rid of heat. Dynamic light is required for noon. Let's see, it's required... Light source. Get rid of heat and dynamic, and we'll find a different light source. Down requires... Dying light. Clouds. Nope. Let's try moon, see if it gives us less 
Yep. So at night, so if we find, so this is a very specific setup. If we have it with a, a river, a river at night gives us better uh, memory usage. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arm. That's terrifying. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. You can actually use Nanami, Paul Berg, David Munshi, and Simon Jarrett. I could put myself in there. Let's do dummy. Let me guess it won't work. And I'm gonna have to pick someone else to use. Oh, it worked. So this is not a person, right? All right. You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. I paused, didn't I? Did I take too long? You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Oh, I understand now. While dummy's being loaded. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. No, oh, try so again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. It's going really fast. Every now and then I see it pop up really, really briefly. Are you serious? I'll get it eventually, goddammit. Is this a real video game right now? <laughs> so... There we go, that's what I was supposed to do. Found it. Fuck. Still, I'm still bad at video games, you guys. Still bad at video games. Yeah. I'll catch you. It's the last thing I ever do. Aha, there we go. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. So now we know how to get on the arc, right? Kind of. What? It's just I don't really know who you are. Maybe there's a way to plug you in, or maybe scan somehow. We need to figure this out before we leave. Are you saying I need to run myself? Is that what we're doing here? Do I need to do it on this computer? Because I can't go anywhere else right now. Plug myself in. Take a look around the room. Must be something here that can help us. I don't think I like the idea of plugging myself in. Hello, documents. Uh, my decision. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go, but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Dr. Catherine uh, Chun. What's left? Apply interface module, seal arc capsule, ask permission from 4Q. Brief Ivan, uh, Ivashkin, Lindwall, Peterson, and Hill. Take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride the climber into the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullets, launch arc. So a lot of those are actually... After the first four, those are my instructions, basically. Uh... Or maybe sort see yeah, maybe sealed. No, the arc capsule's already there. So we need to take the shuttle, pick up the power suits, ride the climber into the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullet, and launch the arc. Those are my objectives for the rest of the game, basically. And along the way, I wouldn't be surprised if we find either Catherine Chun herself or the remains of her. She could even be a monster at this point. Arc locator. So the arc is currently what? Oh, I'm in Theta. I was like, why do you mean it? What do you mean the arc's in Theta? I'm right here. So we need to go from Theta to Omicron, which, looking at the map at the beginning of the game, just the fact that Omicron exists and it's a video game, we knew that was going to happen anyway. But the characters needed a reason for it. So we're going to go from Theta to Omicron, and then take the Red of the Abyss down to Tau, and try not to die horribly along the way. That'll be pretty sweet. Then we'll launch the arc, and the game will end happy, because these are always happy games that end happily. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Recently, it was decided that the ARC project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. 
The, sta the staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Ark Project is the most logical step forward, uh, st to, uh, lo the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Yeah, there's nothing else to do at this point. At some point, there's nothing left. The, the, the world's over. See if we can send some human consciousness to space. That's the problem with Catherine that we've met. The person that was with us this whole time, this copy, is like, she's so passive against copies, and how they don't, how they act like they don't really matter, but the whole, this whole project is designed to send some copies of people into space. Like, that's all they're doing. That's all that we have left. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save for mankind. Uh, context can be tough for that, so just agree? Maybe? The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark, II, uh, Mark uh, 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Uh, considering what's going on on this planet, probably. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in, a leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, find, will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Uh... I don't- I don't agree with the concept that disease and death are what make people human. I always think like, people are like, If I go, if I live forever, I just get bored. I'm like, have you seen how much the fucking world's changed in like, last five years? Like, the world's crazy. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Uh... I guess it could be acceptable as long as we know who they are. Just to know which ones are real people and which ones are people that are like on their way to way to be on their way to being real people, so we don't put too much trust in things that are in a work in progress, perhaps. Let's see, arc approval strongly agree is the majority. Oh, so the majority is highlighted for each one. No, it's not. My choice is highlighted for each one. So I chose strongly agree for arc approval, which is the agreement along the board along the top. For everybody. Uh, spend, send it the stars. Yes, everyone agrees. Uh, inferior companions, whether or not there should be like a weird, like, increase the population by having people that don't quite work. That seems to be the most divisive choice for all of them. Looks like, yeah, almost tied with strongly disagree. Agree and strongly disagree. It's actually a super contentious thing. Oh yeah, that's 50-50. That's 50% agree, 50% disagree. That's about as divided as you get. Then they just moved one by 2%. Just to make them not look like the same number twice. Pain for gain. Do people agree or strongly agree that some amount of pain is required in order to accomplish things? Only 4% disagree, no one strongly disagrees. Because, yeah, pain happens sometimes. Artificial evolution. I'd, be, I'd appear to be part of the, mi the slight minority that, uh, maybe disabil having disabilities and whatever is maybe not worth it? Yeah, more people agreed than disagreed, but the strongly agree is not particularly major. That was an interesting little exercise. I'm sorry I'm yawning. I'm not actually tired. I don't know. I think I'm just breathing. There's like breathing ha habits you get into when you're doing commentary sometimes where ox like CO2 builds up in your lungs from like the wrong pattern of breathing in and out and sometimes you just kind of awkwardly start yawning when you don't mean to. Hello. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. 
Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. This seems like such a bad idea. Am I going to end up inside our simulation we just made up? Am I supposed to plug these into something, maybe? What if it does something? Can I, can I reach? Can you reach, buddy? Oh, I lost it. <laughs> Hello. This thing seems kind of important. It doesn't reach, does it? Come on. I can see the plug and everything. Nope. Doesn't seem to quite reach. I tried. Do these things move around at all? They're just kind of carts. So I understand what's going on here. My choice is go into the freaky thing to find out what I'm made of. Oh, never mind. I was, I was going to say, it's either I go in that thing or I use that simulation of myself and experiment on a fake version of myself instead of the real self. But then I realized, oh, wait. That fake me isn't me. It's an AI. It's a copy of my consciousness, but it's not my body, which is what we're, I think we're talking about. Hello, coordinates? That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Omicron, Tau, Phi. We definitely know where we're going. Shuttle to Omicron, change, ride the ch uh, chamber to the abyss. Check on Tau, anyone alive? Yep, that's the same, uh, the same objective as before. It's interesting that we're just straight up in Chun's lab right now. Power packs, tools. FST kit, extra oxygen, P2 permission. Talking about like an Omni tool with the right permission. Prep arc with signal transmitter. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. Yeah, why would you think that? You're, you have bad ideas. You think poorly. So that's the whole crew there, huh? How many of them have I seen die so far? It's hard to read their names. I might have not met these people yet. They're definitely hard names to remember. Looking at that picture though, it seems like that's the exact picture I see on this picture. Yep. They used the same drawing twice. And I doubt they extracted those profile pictures from that. I see the corners you cutting. Haimatsu power suits. Proper usage. For the safety of you and your colleagues, put on the neoprene's uh, undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with the legs, fix the parts of your harness and work up yourself upwards. Lock all pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button in your arm piece. You should hear the suit it seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, Flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it won't, still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Oh, that's... That'll be great for me when no one's here to help me. Uh, no, the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You'll effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training apprised. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Anything on the back? Nope. So we're gonna be in a we're gonna be in like a mech suit, the one those ones that make you more powerful, like the ones that they try to give, they're trying to make them for people who can't walk. Like they would just like, they would exaggerate the movement of your weakened body by making you be able to move more. Swipe Omni tool. So if I had the Omni tool, I can go in there. I just want to see if there's a visible creature patrolling around out there. They probably wouldn't just do that to me outright. I'm listening for noises. Something's got to happen. I'm so sure something's gonna just show up. I don't trust it. At all. Alright. That's about all we're gonna find around here, I believe. Oh, what's, what was that? Those are just fans. Oh! Ah, uh, that's a fume hood. I've worked with one of those before. Being all a scientist and all that. Nothing's in there, right? Sweet. Just wanted to make sure before I stand right in front of it for that. All right. Uh... Oh, it's already closed. Oh, I don't uh, like it. Tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? This is a Faraday cage. Like those look like they look like sound dampening foam, like some stuff I've used before. But I don't think it's made of that material. I think this is a Faraday cage. Wow. 
weird parallels between this game and the most recent episode of Doctor Who. And Halo, apparently. <laughs> Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. That's pretty goddamn freaky. Uh, Crouch. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit, man? Yeah, we should get going. Uh... Uh, no, nothing. Ah, well, you want to talk? Here's a that's a crazy moment. In a game that's constantly making you question your identity and figure out what counts as being human. I am a female body with a male mind. Process that for a few minutes. Want to bring this arc as a backup? Now that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Well, at least we know what we're looking like looking at then. This is the Ark. We need something like that, but that works. No big deal.